Hey guys, and welcome to today's GoPro tutorial on how to create a slow motion effect using GoPro Cineform Studios, After Effects, and the Twixter plugin. First of all, if you don't have Twixter, you can also do this same effect just using GoPro Cineform Studios. I'll put a link on the screen now where you can view my other video on how to do this. So, to get started, you'll have to import the GoPro footage you want to use onto your computer. Then, click and drag this footage into GoPro Cineform Studios. Now, if you haven't used Cineform Studios before, you can scrub through and find the section you want to use and put in a keyframe. So we're going to find the section that we want, which is just this shot up here. So we'll start it around here. You can click play and scrub through, see the footage, and then see where you want it to end. So about here. So then you can end the keyframe, or mark out as it says, and from there you can also name the footage, so we'll just call this Shot Cineform. So now you can add the clip to the conversion list, and then just click Convert All. Now if you do have multiple clips you want to work with, you can do them all at once, and convert them all at once, that's more convenient. So now you just got to wait for it to convert. And once you've done that, you'll come up to the next step, which is edit. So normally this shouldn't take too long, unless you're doing a lot of clips. Okay, so now we'll proceed to step two. Now, I'll just use Cineform Studios to do some basic color correction. So we don't need a template, because we're just going to color correct one clip. So we'll just select the clip we've used, and you'll see it automatically applies a ProTune preset. Now, although this preset is good, we can alter it to make it look even better. So we can get rid of this down here and just play with the exposure and saturation a little bit. So we'll just turn that down a bit. Turn the contrast down a little bit. Saturation up just a little bit. And sharpness about there will do. So once you've got the desired effect, you can also do a split point and see what it looked like before and after. And you can play it through. We'll see that looks pretty good. So from here, we will just click export. Now, if you're making high quality videos, you want to do custom or archive and edit. So I'll just use archive and edit because that works best. Gives you the highest quality. And you'll notice the files are quite big, so you want to have a lot of space. So hit export. And then you can just call this whatever you want. So I'll just call this Shot Cineform 2. Uh, I'll call it Color Corrected. Because then we know it's all been color corrected and done. And make sure you save this to the location. So we'll just save it to my Twixter tutorial. So now it'll just take a little while to export. And then we'll go into After Effects. Now, I already have exported this before, so I can just click and drag to After Effects. It's going to be quick anyway, so. Now we just find the file, so here it is, shot Cineform Color Corrected, and we'll take that into After Effects. Now, once you're in After Effects, you'll want to create a new composition, which will be the length of the video. As you can see here, we'll scrub through it. Looks fine. You'll want to change the quality down to half, otherwise it might get a bit laggy. That all looks good. Okay, so the first thing you want to do once we're in After Effects is click this button here, which is Enable flame Frame Blending, and then click this twice. So that enables Frame Blend. You can also go up into the top corner up here and go Layer, oops, select the layer first, Layer, Frame Blending, and click Pixel Motion, either way. Now the next thing you want to do is apply, let's select the layer again, apply a uh, time warp. Oh no, we don't need to do that. Sorry. My mistake, we don't need that for this one. So you're going to want to apply a enable time remapping, which will allow you to lengthen and shorten the clip as you please. And we'll also want to change the composition settings and make this a little bit longer, say... 10 seconds just so we have enough space to work with. Sorry about that, the video recording software just crashed, so we'll go back to where we were. So we've applied the 
layer, we've gone layer, time, and enabled time remapping. And we were just about to apply. Oh, and we changed the composition length. So now we're about to apply the Twixter Pro plugin. So you just go here and select Twixter Pro. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is put the frame rate that you've used. And in this case, it's 59.940. So we'll enter that. And now you can close this box. And what you're going to want to do is go to the effects drop down, just here. Drop down Twixter Pro and go to output control. So this is where you can control the speed. Now the key to getting good slow motion is choosing the right spot. So see, we could do slow motion, so I'll do an example, we'll put speed 100%, and then go up here, and go to the next frame, and change speed down to eight, say. And you can see if we scrub through here, we can get slow motion through, but you'll see that the leg warps, that's because the frame rate's not fast enough to pick all this motion up through here. So we're going to want to choose a different location. So that's one of the biggest keys to getting good slow motion footage is choosing the right spot. Preferably when the background is clear and it's got a nice smooth motion. So this spot will work quite well just after the kick. So we'll just delete these keyframes, go to where we want the slow motion to start and the footage. Oh, we got to change speed back to 100. So we want the slow motion to start about here. So put in the keyframe for speed, go across a frame, and change this to, say, 8. Now we can scrub through and have a look. And it's still a little bit distorted, so maybe we should start it a little bit later. There we go, that looks quite good. And we'll end it about there. Go click next frame and go back to 100%. So now if you just scrub through here, you'll see that you get a nice slow motion effect in there. And you can press zero on the keypad to preview this. Shouldn't take too long to load because we're only in half quality. Now you can see there's still a little bit of distortion around the main focus point, but you won't really notice that when it's in the video. You'll see as it plays back in normal time. You can also experiment and try different positionings for your slow motion to get a better effect. It's all about finding the right background. And so as you can see, it works quite well. And there's limited distortion. So now all you have to do is export your After Effects file. So to do this, Go File, Export, Add to Render Queue, and then go to your Render Queue here, and we can just call this, first we'll name the file, we'll just call this Shot Slow Motion Final, find where that's got to be, got to be saved, just here, so save. Make sure the render settings are all good, so you're going to want the best quality with full resolution, Use the normal frame rate, that all looks good. Output method. Be sure to click audio output here if you do have audio in the clip that you want. But for this one, we don't have any audio that we need, so we'll just click OK. And then click render. Now, I already have rendered this video, so I'll just stop it there and go find the rendered clip, and I'll show you it as a preview of what you can do. So this is the final slow motion product. If you like this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. If you have any other tutorials you'd like to request, please comment below and we'll get to them as soon as possible. Thanks.